Hello Capsulea, my name is Gildy and welcome to EVE Online. It is quite interesting how we take some of what we know about EVE already for granted. How things we think are obvious can be something others haven't even thought of yet. Today we will take a dive into EVE Online's UI. The interface that sometimes can get you out of a tight spot by giving you all the information you need. Sometimes it is the reason you lose. Tips are in no particular order and level of complication, so you might find things you already know or things you had no idea about. First thing today is going to be a very simple thing, but one that, well, blew my mind when I got reminded that you can do it. Have you ever put your drones in fancy groups, sorting them by type, the role, or just doing generic group 1, group 2, group 3 setup, just so that it's easier to release them at once. No? Just in case you didn't, here is how you can do it. Right click any drones in your drone window, select move drone, new group. This is very useful because after you release your drones in space once, you will need to do it one by one or select them with shift or control click every single time you want to launch them. That is, unless you of course put them in groups. Another thing, if you right click a group, you can mark it as your favorite. That way, if you hit shift F, it's that exact group that will be launched by default. So you got your groups, but accidents happen. You decide you don't need certain groups, you made too many, or you made a typo that is just getting on your nerves. You click on the groups, you click on the menu of the drone window, and there is nothing to edit the group names or remove them. This option is there, and it took another player pointing it out to me to find it, so let me share that knowledge with you. You need to right click the drones in bay or drones in space bar. That then brings up the delete group option letting you get rid of those old groups that were bothering you for a while. The next one will be quick and very useful for newbies. You get your ship, you unlock a new type of a weapon, and you do not have the slightest idea what each of the ammo types does, how far it reaches, and you really need to know a way to get that information quickly. Close that ship item hanger, Stop looking at all the ammo in there and wondering which one is which. Instead, undock, then right click on your weapon system next to the capacitor and marvel at the information it is giving you. First of all, it shows you the damage types that each of the ammo types is doing. This is especially nice to know with missiles or the stupid amount of ammo Minmatar weapon systems use. Secondly, you got your current ammo on top and the option to reload the weapon with it, reload all, which will reload every module that can have charges in your ship. Watch out for that, as there are some you might not want to reload in the heat of the battle, like an ancillary armor repairer. And the rest of the ammo is there. Thing is, it is shown in order. Longest range on the top, shortest, apart from the one you got in right now, on the bottom. There, that's the trick. You're welcome. Another one I got for you is something for the maybe newer in industry, setting up orders and such. Did you know that you don't have to create whole lists with links to items that you got to buy? Having stuff in plain text is more than enough. I used to go ahead and send emails to my market alt whenever I would realize that I forgot to buy some materials or I ran out of this or that. Then. From that same email, I would slowly, methodically go, right-click every single item, check market details, set my buy orders, and track the list of things I already bought with my finger on the screen. But those days are long gone. If you want to just buy off of sell orders, or make yourself a quick list that you can easily click things off of when you set your buy orders, and you know exactly how many items you want to get, you can do so easily. Simply collect the items you need to buy, be it by manually checking your stocks, your industry window, or in one of the third-party tools, copy all the items, and their amounts as plain text, and open your market window. There, click Multi-Buy 
and in the upper left corner, adding items listed in clipboard to order will automatically dump them all, making each item a link you can right click to open market details and once you do your buy order setting, you just click this X to remove item from the list, it's as easy as that. And if you want to buy off of sell orders, just hit buy and that's it. Another tip, this time for FCs. I've heard so many times FC calling out where people are when farming up. What ships are they in? How many of each ship type do we have? Making the mental gymnastics to try figuring out if the numbers they have are enough or do they need more logi, links, tackle or whatever all they need filled. There is a better way to do it however, which doesn't rely on counting how many people X'd up in fleet chat and hoping that the whole fleet listened to you and didn't start lemminging excess in the chat because they didn't hear half of the sentence. If you are in the fleet commander position, wing commander or even squad, you can go to the menu in fleet window and hit show fleet composition button. It opens a window with two tabs. First, fleet composition shows you who is where in what ship, what's their role in the fleet and which wing and squad they are in, as well as even showing the fleet skills of those people, leadership, wing and fleet command skills to be exact. The other tab might be better for you if you just want a summary of the ships in fleet. It simply lists how many ships of each type are there. You can refresh the information, but it is usually a little delayed, up to a minute as the window is letting you know right away. Interesting thing here is that you only see the information of the fleet members that are under you in the fleet hierarchy. If you are a squad commander, you will only see summary of your squad mates. If you are a wing commander, you'll see people under that wing only. So to see everyone, you need to be on top of the fleet in the fleet command position. And last one for today is about a little bit of PvP. Knowing what your enemy is using against you can be a matter of life and death. Are they using missiles, so pulling range won't really matter? Or maybe rockets, so you can pull range and get out of harm's way? Is it maybe a light missile caracal, which might shred your frigate? Or maybe a heavy missile one, so you can outrun most of the damage and take them down? Are they shooting you using artillery guns or auto cannons, which can dictate if you should close in and try to outrun their guns or pull some range and get damaged less due to them going far into their fall off? Some capsuleers did manage to memorize all types and sizes of weapon systems in game and check it simply by looking at enemy ship. However, that takes some time to learn. If only there was an easier way. But there is. If you open your Neocom, go to Utilities, you can open Log and Messages. This log shows you notifications you might have missed, warnings and combat information, showing you the newest messages on the bottom. That way you can quickly see how much damage you're taking, if you're taking it, and what ammo is used against you, giving you a hint on what weapons you are going against. It won't be useful for most, but for some, as I said, it might be a matter of life and death figuring out what you're going against right at the start of a fight. And that's all the tips I got for you today. If you have any extra ones you would like me to share with the public, let me know in the comments. I'm always up for sharing more knowledge with fellow capsuleers, but can only come up with so many ideas myself. As usual, if you drop any comments under the video, add IGN phrase and then your in-game name at the end, so I can contact you because comments under this video will take part in a giveaway. One out of three partner exclusive ship skins is up for grabs, but only original comments count, not answers to comments. Two more skins will be given away on my Discord server, link in the video description. Giveaways will finish three days from the video being published. If you would like to support me, you can use my referral link in the video description or use code GILDY in each store. It supports me as I may receive a small commission from the purchases done with the code. If you enjoyed this video, share it with a corpmate that might need it, leave a like and subscribe to see my future uploads. If you are interested in what I will talk about next, my videos go up every Sunday. 
and if we never see each other in space again, Capsulia, fly safe.